Hi there, welcome back to another video of Loose Handicrafts. Today's video is all about making this amazing fruity orange pot holder. Start with a white yarn and create a magic ring into which we will be putting 12 double crochet. Chain 3 counts as double crochet, so we will be putting 11 more double crochet. Close the magic ring. Join the round by slip stitching it to the top of the beginning chain and we will cut the yarn. Row 2. Change the color to orange. Join the yarn. Chain 3 which will be counted as a double crochet. Put one more double crochet into the very same stitch. This will give us an increased stitch which is 2 double crochet into 1 single stitch. Now you can take the tail along as you crochet or sew it in later on but I like to uh, just crochet on top of it and hide the tail as I go along. That is 1 single crochet, double crochet sorry. Another double crochet into the same stitch and we have our second increase and we'll be increasing all around in this row. So I'll see you when you have completed your row. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 double crochet increase which means I have 24 stitches slip stitch into the top of the chain 3 space row 3 chain up 3 which is counted as double crochet do an increase in the next uh, stitch 2 double crochet into 1 single stitch 1 double crochet double crochet increase so one double crochet increase one double crochet increase all around when you have uh, completed the round just to make sure you should end up with double crochet increase in the last stitch so one two double crochet that's an increase Join the round by slip stitching it. Row 4, chain up 3. One more double, cro uh, double crochet in the next stitch. So in this round, 2 double crochet, increase, 2 double crochet, increase. Increase in this stitch. Two double crochet in the next two stitches. Increase. One, two. Join the row by slip stitching it. Row 5, chain up 3, three double crochet, increase, 1, 2, and chain 3 counts as double crochet, so 3 double crochet, increase in this round. 3 double crochet in the next 3, sp uh, three stitches 2 1 more and you have an increase in the next stitch simple join the round by slip stitching it to the top of chain 3 the yarn. Change the color back to white. Row 6, 
chain up three we will do four double crochet and then an increase four double crochet increase all around two three Join the round and cut the yarn. Row 7, the final row, the color changes back to orange and I have done here 5 double crochet, increase, 5 double crochet and increase throughout the round. Crochet the wedges by using surface slip stitch in white color. We will make six of them and try your best to place them in uh, equal distance. So we will slip stitch from the center white to the outer white ring. Now we will hide the tails and cut off the excessive yarn. Also do the same for the tails of the wedges. Then we cut out a felt same size as that of the coaster. The final step in this project is joining the coaster and the felt. So we do this by Using a blanket stitch, join the two together and it gives a perfect pot holder. I hope you are following the tutorial and if you have any doubts or queries, please feel free to comment in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you at my best. Ta-da! So this is what the finished product looks like. And I hope you make a delicious fruit pot holder for yourself too. Your subscription to my channel really encouraged me to do better. Thank you so much for watching. Until then.